Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Cry Fear. If you stuck with me this far, thank you. The episodes have gotten longer, and uh, the game kind of drags in the opening because it wants to be Silent Hill and not a shooter. But here is where it becomes a little more linear, and I feel a little more... a lot improved. Trying to do the whole, like, almost Metroidvania thing of, like, finding all the keys and taking them through the areas and doing stuff and going backwards and backtracking. I feel like the game is just a little weak in those aspects. It's at its strongest when you're not bumbling around looking for things. And this is one of the better parts of the game, if I remember. Because, like, look, we have a lantern. We don't have a proper light. It doesn't project anything. It just shines. So our path is illuminated, but nothing else. We can't look forward. We're stuck looking this way. I saw the door. I'm just casing the joint. Um, so as has been mentioned, I, uh, I'm pretty good at not being scared. What? Okay, I guess we'll go scrape around for a doorknob. I'm pretty good at not being scared. There's only even a few things in this game that have scared me. And uh, you can notice them because I jerked the mouse like that. Um, there may be a sharp intake of breath, but I don't like yell or poop or anything. I'm pretty resilient to jump scares. Of course, me saying that means that uh, a really good one's probably going to happen any second now. Not helped by the fact that I don't have my earbuds in, so anything I see will spook me. Okay, so here's the start of the area. Should I just, like, cut through the center and hope? If I jump... Yeah, it does. It pulls the, it pulls the amount of light back a little. Oh. I think we've got our boy. Anybody? I've got a stick. See? I knew it. Of course there was going to be a spookman. Okay. So, what do we do? We go forward here. Until we see that light. All right. There's an invisible wall here for some reason. It doesn't appear to... Well, maybe I just lost it. Yeah, there was something that was blocking my forward progress. That was weird. I'm just trying to find the bugs here now. Okay. Okay. See, there's the boo noise. Oh, he's there. Easy peasy. Easy and or peasy. Anyway, my point is, is that I, I don't get shook up by um, jump scares very much. Oops, syringes. I feel super salty that uh, I had 10 syringes and lost them. I'm pissed about that. I had so much healing goodness. They're force feeding me these sticks. Anyway, jump scares. Um... Something that can actually happen is a jump scare. Will, uh, my, my wife will put it on the TV. And, you know, the family will be watching it, which is me, my cats, and her. Um, occasionally we have uh, my brother-in-law and her brother. Or some other friends out there.
Yeah, you gotta you gotta like duel with him like it's like it's doom. Um, and when a jump scare happens, they jump, but I in the video don't jump, and neither does me in real life. And it's like, yeah. Thanks, me for the past for looking cool. Oh, no problem, me from the future. You're welcome for making you look cool. What is this? Is that a weed? It's half of a scissor. Shit. Alright, guess we're doing this without gear. Oh yeah, this is that fucking TV puzzle. This is a problem. This is proper Tosh. Okay, we've left those there. And now we find a stick. I don't suppose there's any chance that I can affix this to my belt, can I? Now I assume I'm hitting them. That was really silly. Okay. So yeah, we've got to bring the two halves of the scissors together. Unite the scissor sisters. I'm really salty about the fact that I lost 10 syringes. As well as that hunting rifle. That would have been sweet. Is this the right thing to do? I'm starting to get the idea that it's not. Oh, here we go. Okay, so yeah, I need... Yeah, that's the TV puzzle. So the TV literally says, drop me. And if you come here in New Game Plus, you have to use the scissors. You can't use anything else. So let me path my way back over here. Um. Yeah, here it is. Hmm. Don't seem to have uh, my syringe. This is a different house. Oh, that makes sense. So anyway, yeah, we got a suicide forest and there's a bunch of uh, weird suicide girls. Or no, not suicide girls. For those who don't know, uh, Suicide Girls is a uh, pornography website. Drop that, and then I'll take this lantern and use it to guide my way through the forest until I can find that house that had my morphine. Henceforth, it shall be known as the drug house. Here it is. Okay, now I'll drop this lantern. I'll equip this. Pick up that. Get the scissors ready. Beat apart. Drop this big fucking stupid TV on that. Hell yeah. And then I'll jewel wield. And we're good to go. Shabooms. So yeah, if in New Game Plus you bring the knife or the axe there. Um, although I believe you might actually be able to get the axe in uh, New Game. Uh, you cannot use it to cut the rope, even though it's much sharper. Watch out for the trees. Uh, yeah, you have to use the scissors. All right. Adjusting my mic. Adjusting my mic again. All right, thank you for bearing with me. All right. Make your joke about Logan and or Jake Paul here. All right, that's all. So yeah, um, a hanged woman is in this forest. I assume that this is a reference to the suicide forest of Japan. Uh, those things are a one-hit kill. Or maybe they're not. I seem to remember them being a one-hit kill, but you know. So yeah, certain trees will just 
drop a hanging woman on you. And hey, if you're drinking, uh, that's another example of suicide. Is it these trees? Hello? What are you like? See, okay, that one got me, actually. That one was actually a pretty good scare. And your face and mouth is all bloody. Now, I've never seen a hanging. So I don't actually know. But uh, I assume that the mouth doesn't get that bloody. Well, then again, you know, I don't know. It could be. Could be that that's the way it is. I kind of wish that this was a little more obnoxious. Like, it was thicker. Because I keep seeing it and thinking that it's something I can walk into and I cannot. Which is irritating. Pushing the use key on them doesn't do anything. Okay. See... You kind of have to imagine that there's a woman standing in a tree with a noose around her neck tied to the branch she's standing on. She waits until she sees a small, depressed Swedish boy coming. And she leaps off the tree to hang herself in the hopes that her little, her little heels will kick Simon in the head and do like a little bit of damage. It's a weird enemy, I've got to say. See? That wasn't e that wasn't even wasn't even close to me. You didn't even get a close to me. Can I get in here? Ma'am. Hmm. Think, think, think. Well, that's the end of that. So yeah, um, this is a, that's a classic enemy. That's one of the hallmarks of this game. Just cause like, look at it. It's just so cry of fear, you know? It's one of those things that just, oh, there's another one. You know, this is, this is so cry of fear. I wanted to mention that Saw Runner earlier when we were doing the doorknob puzzle. That's one of the only times in the game that a saw runner is actually kind of appropriate to see. Because he's in a forest. Can I go back? Does that do anything for me? It doesn't look like it does. Watch out for the trees. I wonder how many languages this game comes in. Okay, I, I will admit, I'm lost again. I don't feel bad to say that. Just cram myself through. Damn. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Oh. I'm stupid. I was also trying to look for more of the suicide girls. I really got to stop saying that. Okay, so what is the signifier for the trees that they use? Because all that they told me was George of the Jungle, watch out for that tree. So is there like, like they only do it off of an oak tree? You know, should I be... Should I be on watch for like a sturdy mahogany? Well, let's go down here. Oh, great. It's this part. See, so yeah, that door slammed open and there's a big filter on the screen. Because, like, horror. And, yeah, we're just going to keep going forward here. I wonder if anything's going to run up on us. Boo. Any second now. I know it's coming. There's this, um... You guys ever played Dead Space? Yep. 
in Dead Space 2, there's uh, sequences where you... That was kind of annoying. I think I took damage from that. I didn't have to. Uh, in Dead Space 2, there's sequences wherein you go into... Did I only get one of the things? Oh my god, that's awful. Okay, going through there will drop them. Yep. Yep, Aroonies. Okay, I'm gonna head back and see if I uh, can grab another syringe. Just this. Doo -doo -doo. Um, and it's this one, yeah. Morphine syringe. Yeah, only one. That's not right. I'm supposed to have two of those, right? Unless I somehow lost one. So this is the other house. Here's that lantern. This is the TV puzzle. This area is also where you can see the game play with its own light engine a little more as well. Oh, there's a save in there. How do I get there? I mean, I guess I don't need it. But it would have been nice to know about. Because that's boarded up. That's boarded up. Oh, wait, yeah, I was already in here. This is the start of the area. Alright, that's awkward. Okay. Bookashi, 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 bookashi. Bookashi, bookashi, yes, no more. So there should be another fucking house here somewhere, right? And then I should be able to just run through the suicide girl forest. God, could you imagine if like it was like an actual suicide girl forest? <laughs> I would be all over that. You know, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know why Suicide Girls is the name of, you know, a prominent uh, porn brand. Maybe I just lost it. Weird. I'll load that game then. You know, at some point it was my dream to be the first male suicide girl. <laughs> I didn't want to be suicide boy though, because that's a uh, really funny ha um, whose line is it anyway sketch. They're just thinking of like the worst possible superheroes ever. And one of them is Suicide Boy. Where's this fucking door? Oh, here it is. Boo. So if you sprint, I think you might be able to just sprint through them. Okay. Okay. So now we go here. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting it started in here. Hmm. And here we go. Yeah, I wanted to be the first uh, male suicide girl. Maybe I should get back on that. Maybe it's because it was originally supposed to be, like, emo girls. But then at some point they got, like, disillusioned with it. I'm trying to... Okay, so yeah, you slip down if you don't try to adjust yourself mid-fall. 
Okay, cool. So this is upcoming kind of annoying. Because, like, you just gotta... Ugh, God. Okay. Okay. I, I read you loud and clear. Just the fact that there's no save point after you go through Suicide Girl Forest. That's just plain demoralizing. Perfect. What? Oh, ha ha ha, very fun. And then here, those doors will kill you somehow. Can't remember if it's a one-hit kill or not. Yep. I knew you were going to move. Oh God, how annoying. And they just open to nothing. It's like a Scooby-Doo door. Okay. So if I press my face up to it and then step back a little bit, I should be safe. This place is a nightmare on co-op, by the way. Because if anyone gets knocked down, then they're down. And then you have to form CPR on them. But, they, uh, uh, but they're also standing in the door, so you have to make sure that you don't get crushed by the door. Sometimes it's just better to leave them. And yeah, that was another enemy whose body is twisted. So again, um, you now think of the twisted enemies as uh, Simon himself in a weird fucked up way. Where like, I can't, like, uh, uh, I'm Simon, I can't use my legs, this is how I see myself. I'm a twisted dude who's like, upside down reverse crab walking, you know? Also, this is really cool with how the, the lightning will light up the stage. Then you also got these. Yeah, look at that. It's a really cool area, um, and it almost takes away from the fact that you can definitely see that they've just reused shit from Waspit Park, or Waspit Gardens. Okay, these are all a lot of reused textures. I don't know why this rock has grass on it. It's the doctor. I have that exact same type of gas mask. I might have already brought that up, but you know. Damn, really? Okay. Oh, come on. I wanted to explore that area. Ah, uh, there's no fucking save point. There's no point. Ah, oh, whatever. It's on easy mode. I, I ended the first half of the game with 10 syringes. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nobody ever betray me. All right. But yeah, so some of the monsters, you can see them as a twisted reflection of Simon. Where he's like, this is how I am. This is what I am. You know, I'm this twisted thing that's like essentially walking on its hands and knees. I'm this monster that's adjusting my desk, sorry. You know, I'm a monster. So, as you can see, this is a school. Uh, it's long been abandoned. Why would the gate need electricity? Don't tell me I have to get a motherfucking fuse. Okay, anyway. This is an abandoned school. Long, long abandoned based on all this graffiti. It's definitely not because they only had so many textures for the walls and all of them have graffiti on them. Um... And yeah, this is all we got. I don't like that one dry patch there. Or possibly the one wet patch. Hmm. Now, I understand that this is going to be an odd question to ask. But where in this school can I get a gun? Did 
this one in particular. Not like, you know, any other school. Because, you know, this school is almost definitely full of monsters. 2009, hell yeah. Fuck the mesh, fuck the mesh. Mesh. DFC, deliciously flat chest. That's what's that short for, you know. And again, you know what would be fantastic if I'd have fucking map. I talked about it in the earlier uh, earlier parts. But the only times you have a map is when the game is like, okay, here's this thing, you know, and it's part of the puzzle. Like uh, in, in that hallway with the, the guys on meat hooks. I would love I would love to kill something. If nothing else, it would mark my place. Okay, here's the room with a pea patch in it. So I shouldn't Damn. Damn. I'm definitely getting trapped. Right, Kate, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Also, I hope Kate doesn't watch this with me, because uh I'm the only LP here that Kate knows. And Kate will shout things at the screen whenever an LP here does something stupid. But that's me, and if I'm in the room when she does that, it will hurt my feelings. Okay, I'm sure nothing bad will happen in here. So, um, I've decided that for the... Get this shit out of here. Hell yeah. An honest to god, real and proper flashlight. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, I did it on my first try. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing. Hmm? What was that? Did I miss something scary again? Recently, one of the episodes in which I see something scary and then realize that I missed it came out, and I'm like, oh, wait, hold on, let me load that save and go back. I really like that I did that, you know? I want, I want to let the game have its time, you know? Have its thing. Man. So now that the light's on, I'm sure nothing bad will happen to me at this school. I'm of the opinion that <laughs> I'm of the opinion that there are too many well that's not how fire doors are supposed to work. Too many James Sunderlands in games and not enough LSs. Ah yes, the bowling alley. This is one of those like really nice Swedish schools though. I've all got all these bowling shoes. Glock magazine, now all I need is a gun. Sometimes the soap. God, I missed my hunting rifle. I loved that thing. So something is interesting about Mr. Facebook here. You only really ever see one of him at a time. And to me that says you know that is that's a guy. I wonder if this is a reference to Fight Club, these soaps. 30E. Oh, maybe. Um. Seringe. Anyway, the Facebook enemy. You only ever see one of them at a time. Which to me could imply that um, there is only one of them. There's something strange about Dr. Purnell. Dr. Purnell, could it be? So yes, that fellow's name is Dr. Purnell. Regular, visa hansid, lead altid instruction. Sorry, I do not speak the lingua franca of this game. So anyway, Facebook only shows up one at a time, as far as I remember. Do it. 
do it. Don't give me... Fuck. Play to win, but be respectful. Yeah? There you go. Oh my god. So many toys, so little time. Okay, drop the stick. Can I combine? Fuck. Drop the gun. Combine... Fuck. Right. Gotta remember that there's a fucking shotgun down here. And a stick, in case I need it. Be sure to just pull it to the side. I should really cue this up. Yep. Yep. Okay. Show me James and not enough Alessas in horror games. <laughs> Alright, cool. Walking backwards to deal with enemies? Pretty effective. I don't know. I, I I do know why this came to my head. Um, because I said pretty fucking something, and I'm speaking of it again. I can't remember if it was in this episode or uh, in this series even. But uh, I recall how Eagle Raptor, one Aaron Hansen, discussed how uh, he believed that uh, the first level of Mega Man X was smarter than the theory of relativity. Oh hey, it's the Doctor. Is. Okay. So let's leave these here. Yeah, so that does happen. If you drop a morphine syringe, the game deletes it. That's a fucking bug. That's not supposed to happen. I lost my fucking syringe. Goddamn. Oh, wait, shit. This is really dangerous. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, she does that too. Locked on target. Oh boy. Shoot. Too easy. All right. Oh, it's a mental hospital, not a school. I totally assumed it was a school. I guess we have technically already done a school level. 
Alright. Let's go down to the basement. What the fuck are you, dude? Just a crazy guy with an axe and a bucket on his head. I would say that's a little silly there, sir. Oh man. Game crashed. And we're back. I got a weird error message that I don't know if I've seen before. It literally said, uh, not enough space for asylum map underscore two or something. And yeah, apparently I just ran out of space. Um, so I waited and I relaunched the game because it just crashed to desktop. And apparently that fixed it. I don't really know what happened. So I'm noticing here, one of the things that they're doing is, um... They're, they're trying to make sure that everything exists in 3D space, and that is either something to do with Gold Source, or, um... The game design. Because they want it to be almost like a, like, like, a, like a Dark Souls, like a Metroidvania, where everything exists in its own area, in its own space. Uh, that way you don't... The Remy! Perfect. Um, you know, that way you don't have impossible space, things existing inside other things. It is what it is, you know? It exists as itself. So I'm gonna do something that, uh, you might think is dumb, but, uh... Trust me. <laughs> but I am going to give that doctor a key. No, I'm not. He's going to give me a key. I'm going to have give him... Pardon me. I'm going to give him the gun. Um... Because that's how you... Unlock the true ending. So as um, you may have ascertained already, Adam Tensta. Uh, a lot of this game is very allegorical. You know, it is not literal. The game is... Sorry, I don't want to talk to him yet. Yeah, the game is allegorical and not literal. Simon is not actually in a nightmare world fighting a bunch of, like, skinless dogs and skinless women and... Stuff like that. I said skinless dogs because they show up in Silent Hill Homecoming, but that actually doesn't feature in here. Pardon me. Um... Actually... What if I... Do one of these? Wait, what? Okay, never mind then. Um, 2009. Yeah, the game's allegorical. So I'm not actually fighting these monsters, and the doctor isn't actually like this. He's a normal doctor. He might not be good at his job. Is that what you wanted, dude? Huh. Weird. Anyway, the reason that this gives you the true ending is because this is allegorical to Simon giving the doctor the power to hurt him in the hopes that it'll overall help him. Because you have to do that in therapy. You have to be vulnerable. You have to be willing to let your therapist know shit. And I'm just going to go check the walkthrough to make sure I'm doing this right. Hey, and we're back. Guess what? We actually wanted this thing. This is the doctor's gun. The P... The Ruger. P34545 ACP. Uh, yeah, that w this, in a normal game, that might be, like, your Magnum equivalent. Uh, the Magnum being the really powerful gun that you really like to use. 
you know, the thing that you kill bosses with. Uh, however, in this game, it's what we give to the doctor. So yes, as I mentioned, giving him a gun, you know, having the power to give the power to hurt you to someone else is, you know, maturity and shows that you want to heal. Is it up one more? Right, yeah, it is. No, it isn't. It's my nose here, pardon me. Okay. It snowed today. And you may say, like, well, yeah, it's Missouri. Uh, however, um, I recorded this several months ago. Will you give him the weapon? So recall that we had one of these way earlier when we fought uh, Carcass, the um, the bloated corpse in a, in a deck chair. Yep. Inventory full. Oh shit. Shit. Might makes light. Shit. Shit. Fuck me, dude. Okay, okay. It's this way, right? Or wait, I know. Remy. That'll solve a problem. Yes, I'll give him the weapon. Yes, I'll watch this stupid fucking cutscene again. So I believe in doctor mode, the mode where you play as the doctor. Um, you get access to that gun, and it's the only way to play with that gun. And you may have also noticed that um, not only does that hurt us, but it also limits our max health. So I'm just going to park my fucking ass here. So you can see that our health is not maxed out. Jesus Christ. One and done, huh? Let me just get back up to full here. And then that key is for the back door, which is downstairs. Then I got to just shloop a doo 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 boo doo doo doo. In here? Somewhere? Where do you go? Oh man, how I would love a map. I like that heart drawing on the wall. That's pretty solid. BF. Is it over here? So yeah, it's the it's the middle of October as I record this. You can see, in fact, which I guess it's more the end of October. But um, gate key. Wait, no, it's upstairs, isn't it? It was the door I was staring at. I'm a ding dong. Don't mind me. Okay, well, that was stupid. Okay. Yep, okay. 
Uh, yeah, it snowed in October, and it really doesn't normally do that. It has, but not in a while. I don't mind the cold, though. I much prefer it, in fact. The doctor has locked the door. Interesting that it specifically mentions that he's the one. Press use or attack to cancel. Interesting. Should I be looking for like a black cat shrine or... Maybe I should wait for like JFK to come along. Is something going to jump out and spook me? Staff key. Huh. Well, now we've come to the classic survival horror hallmark of Alright, now what? You know? Including such hits as where the fuck does this key go? Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, like, where the fuck does this key go? What's this item for? And where am I? Though, as I mentioned, um, I'm of the opinion that this part of the game is more fun. Also, a lot of people just saw it less. Wait. Stub my fucking toe. Come on, Simon, work those legs. There's no zeros. Shit. Well, that was my only idea. Now we just gotta find where to put this key. Ooh, yeah, key. Fuck me, dude. Oh, boy. The low health is really annoying. And yeah, that's the best my health can do, I guess. Come on, ain't you a survival horror protagonist? Buckle your pants up. It's a classic case of just where am I going? Is that Antifa? Hell yeah. Hmm hmm hmm. BF. Wait, is it here? No, it's not. Of course it's not, you idiot. Okay, well. I was going to type in the real phone number and I realized, wait, I should not do that. Absolutely not. Hmm. Because my vision is actually not bad here. So I wonder if I should be just seeking with this, and then actually looking with the other thing. Or, you know, I could just cheat and look it up on the walkthrough. Uh, one moment, everyone. Do hey, and we're back. So I did look up the, uh, the code that I'm supposed to put in, but I've decided to not use that. Instead, I will go in here. And I will use the safe key. Which I'm sure is around here somewhere. The note said second floor hospital. I can't believe I thought this was a school. 
then again, I don't know what this building is supposed to be. Because they say a mental hospital, but I'm really not sure about that. <laughs> smashed in. Second floor. How do I know what floor is the second one? Let's go down here. Let's see. It said just across from the second floor. Just across. Of course not. Don't be stupid, you fool! All right. Actually, let's go save here. So I do want to mention, no matter what happens, the doctor will shoot you. But it will do far more damage if... Oh, my arm's going out of place because I've been playing computer games so long. My jerkin hand. That's embarrassing. Anyway. Sorry, Dad. Anyway, the doctor shoots you no matter what happens, um, which is, I think, symbolic of the fact that sometimes people in your life will just hurt you. However, ultimately, you know, one way or another, you can get back. You know, you can, you can get yourself back. Okay, how about this? This isn't the second floor of the hospital, is it? I kind of knew that when I came out here. Any chance I can go back? So I wanted to mention as well, um, the voice actors in this game are all uh, amateur. But you can actually hear them improve throughout the course of the game, and there's some decent voice acting coming up. Nothing, huh? Damn. Double damn. Um, ooh. this reminds me of, oh fuck, I'm stupid. Okay, you can barely read that, but whatever. There's a lamp illuminating a single chair. And morphine. And the door locks behind me. Is this symbolic of Simon locking himself in the bathroom to have a panic attack? I know that that's what I do. Open up. You can hear someone laughing or crying. There we go. What the fuck is this bullshit? It's a big fucking stone tablet. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, I'll bite, I'll bite. I believe this enemy is called the Psycho. Um... I, I believe I've already mentioned this, but I intend to do a full review of every enemy in the game and just talk about what they are, what they mean. Gotta be honest, I feel like the Psychos is not going to be very fantastic. Just when you, when you make jokes about someone going crazy and murdering people, you make the joke that they're a crazed axe murderer. And looky what we got here. It's an axe murderer in some variation of craze. So I intended to come back for the uh, the stone tablet. However, I uh, I'm gonna need this health right now, so I may as well pump it. Left broken plate. Okay, and now we're gonna go upstairs, right? Yes. Not this far. This one, right? Yeah. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So if you look on the tablet, you may be able to see that there's, um... I want this gun. You may be able to see that it's covered in Roman numerals. Um, which luckily I can read. Typically more people are accustomed to Arabic numerals, but... I, uh, I'm a man of many talents. You know me. Um, and it just so happens that it looks just like there's exactly as many numbers as there would be Can I go down? Oh, well, great. Just as many numbers as there would be Oh, don't do this to me. Fuck you, dude. Come on! There's such a crappy enemy. It's just a guy with an axe. How'd you think of that one, fellas? Oh, well, that's easy. Uh, guys with axes. Yep, you know what I mean? Fuck, fuck, staff room again. What a load of bullshit. Is it over here? Here it is. Alright, now let me out whenever you're ready. I wonder what this is doing. Oh, whoops, I picked that up. Didn't really mean to do that. See, I've got my sound so low so it doesn't fuck up with my microphone that I can't hear it. Oh, I can dual wield them. This changes a lot. Also, um, you may have noticed that I mistakenly, um, somehow attempted to dual wield the shotgun and the, the thing. I, well, what happened there was I was mashing the keys too quickly. What? But I wanted to be over here, right? What the hell? Okay, that was weird, right? I could have. What just happened? Was that me? Is that my brain? Weird. Anywho. Yeah, well, mashing the keys to try to switch to my uh, to my weapon, so I could you know fight. Uh, I mistakenly pushed both at the same time, which, as it happens, is a thing that you can do in-game, and what it does is it just dual-wields for you. Which, I don't know if the game ever tells you. And yeah, considering that you only have so many fucking things on your hotbar, it's nearly impossible for it to be useful. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me find the stays so I can see. Save my game. This is so... It's so fucking disorientating. I don't know where to go. I don't know who I am. I want to take that axe off the body, but I mean, guess you can't. Yeah, you just got to drop here. <laughs> and yeah, he just waits there. So I, I was assuming that this was going to be that, that door that's locked from behind. Hmm. 
No. Oh wait, this is the door that's locked from behind. No, it ain't. Is this? There we go. Now we can go through this door. Oh, Christ. One's that observe. I'm gonna put on a show kind of girl. Okay. Choo -choo -choo. So. Now we've got five one one seven three nine seven nine. Five seven three nine seven nine. Okay, I think it's ringing. Look who it is. So that's a guy in a wheelchair. And he's showing me the code 5789. He's showing me the code 5789. 5789 is the code he's showing me. And yeah, it's a guy in a wheelchair who might be the real world equivalent of Simon. Like, that might be Simon in the real world. Who knows? It's a mystery. 5789. Door unlocked. Okay, go time. I should have saved, actually. I'll save here. And then I should probably take a fucking break, right? <laughs> All right. We got syringes. I wonder if this is a boss room or something. You're dead. You're so fucking dead. <laughs> the door. So yeah, we're just going to have an honest-to-god fucking shootout up here with him. What? <laughs> oh boy. Like, I, I was expecting the Ultraviolet to start playing. Here? I feel like I'm playing SWAT or something. Oh my god, it's a fucking shooting gallery. So I'm gonna have to just fucking whittle his health down? Oh dear. Oh, did a dear dear. Well, I guess that means that my, uh, uh, ammunition or lack there, or, uh, uh, my health or lack thereof doesn't actually matter. I hope I get my bag soon. Or back soon. Yeah, this is a fucking shooting game. And I believe giving him the gun also makes the boss fight slightly harder. Uh, dude. Okay, thanks. 
Okay, now let's drop this on the floor. Pick up this. Injection. Oh, yeah. Grab the gun. So I think those guys will constantly spawn. And as I'm sure you've noticed, there's an exploit where one can just run up and shoot him. Or run up and force them to shoot themselves in the head. Uh, meaning that they can be killed with very little difficulty. This is kind of sick, to be honest. We did it! Go team! Easy money. Simon, the pills by itself won't make you feel better. Wait, hold on, let me do something here. Oh my god, if you pause, it takes off the vignetting. You have to do something more than that. I, I recommend down. that you try a new model treatment called cognitive therapy. What's that? Well, it's a set of exercises you do. A way to forget the past. All the bad memories and anxiety you have. Are you interested in books, Simon? I don't know. Why? All right. I just wanted to find out. Because I want you to try out something. I want you to write a book. A book about how you feel. Do you think you can do that? I guess. That's gruesome. <laughs> so yes, we can also see that the guy in that chair was also the real Simon. Wow. But that's it, huh? Revolver rounds. This is not a revolver, bro. Not even close. Anyway, so yeah, the guy who held up the uh, little mess missive for us. Oh, interesting. That was the real world Simon. That's Simon. He's the one writing this book. Because we're not in the real world. We're in a book. I just turned the game audio back down. I wanted to turn it up for that cutscene because it's one of the more important ones. Might makes light. I really should have earbuds in. Oh wow, the sun's coming up and everything. Escape the mental hospital. Am I, like, stuck here? Is there something in my way? There was. God, why'd I drop the fucking... <laughs> why'd I drop the flashlight? Oh, that was stupid. Okay. But yeah, I also like seeing Simon go into, like, his rage mode. That's cool. So yeah, it's a very, um... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I've got to go back up and I've got to grab that fucking thing. I think it's working. You know what? I've wasted so many bullets. Okay. Now. Drop that. Pick up lantern. Jesus Christ. Doesn't have to be hard, Simon. 
Or Alfred, I'm the one making it hard. I don't need to go down there. What are you, crazy? All right, lantern. I probably should not have dropped the flashlight. I'll make a point to go back and grab that. As soon as I use this key and get that out of my inventory. So again, we can see extremely limited inventory space. Like, this is worse than Resident Evil 1. Actually, you know, now that I think of it, it is as bad as Resident Evil 1. Because playing as one character in RE1, you have eight inventory slots, but playing as the other one... Playing as the other one, you have six. So at this game's best, you are as good as, you know, RE1. Uh, in the darker parts of this game, though, you are stuck carrying three fucking items, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah, this game kind of subverts your expectations, because you almost expect it to be more of a classic shootery romp, as opposed to the, you know, more serious affair that it is. Nice. Um, like, you expect to, like, to get your, your, your pistol, and then the shotgun, and then the machine gun, and the sniper rifle, or hunting rifle, and then, like, uh, the magnum, and then, like, a rocket launcher, you know, like you would in, like, a Resident Evil, or, wow, with a sun up, it's actually pretty nice in here. Also means that I don't need the flashlight on. Too bad about the shotgun. I'll miss you. Old friend. Uh, oh, good. It's revolver round. So they want me to use this. But yeah, like, the, but the way that you, like, essentially, like, get a gun and then throw it away. Like, I should use the, the hunting rifle more when I had it. Because I don't, like, now I don't have access to it. And I don't know if I ever will again. Because it's been a while. Um, you get to keep your inventory a little more in multiplayer. Just because, like, it's it's a more, you know, obvious shootery romp. And yeah, like, a lot of people who didn't like this game did like the multiplayer in single player, if that makes sense. Because it's uh, way more action-y. There's a lot less story in it. Um, but the thing is, this has a story, and you know what? Think about the era that this game came out in. You know, this is the era of Call of Duty, Crisis, um, Dead Space. The, these were these were contemporary games at the time. I guess contemporary and at the time are kind of synonymous. But like, Crisis is all about pushing graphics further and being a prettier and more realistic looking game. And now it's to the point where, you know, your average fucking Call of Duty is a fucking 200 gigabyte install. I'm gonna stop here because I have a thing to say about this specifically. Yeah, fucking 200 gigabyte install for Call of Duty. And like, all that realistic games, you know, all that pushing that is doing is making bloated save files and bigger installs. Um... Fucking Call of Duty is all about realism and, like, gritty, aggressive men just, like, shooting at each other. Like, I haven't seen a Call of Duty game that has a protagonist who is in any way identifiable from a different protagonist. The most interesting Call of Duty story is Black Ops 2, and that whole game story is ripped off from Metal Gear Solid 4 and done worse. Um. Oh, wow. That's a bit much, I think. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. Um, and then Dead Space. Dead Space is scary, but most of its scariness comes from making things gorier and gorier and gorier. And while this game does use gore and have gore, it's still trying to be something. And for survival horror at this time, what we had was RE5, RE6, and Dead Space 1. Silent Hill 
had become an action shooter and beat him up. It wasn't really scary. And so that's why I really do ultimately respect this game. Now this, this is a straight ripoff from the ending hours of Silent Hill 2. There's a very, very important scene in Silent Hill 2 where the character gets on a boat and starts rowing their way across Toluca Lake, which is just a lake that's in Silent Hill. Um, James is rowing across the lake after facing his sin the most extreme way possible, and uh, killing another human. <sighs> and it's a very obvious homage, but this one is ultimately a lot different. Silent Hill is all about the fog, you know? And this game doesn't really have fog. I imagine it's because transparent textures weren't great at this time. The reason that they worked on the PS2 is because the PS2 has a really weird knack for making transparent textures work, which is a spec that almost no other game has. But it's why Silent Hill 2 and 3, the ones on the PS2, are absolutely fantastic. And it's why a lot of other games of the PS2 also feature fog. Like Persona 4, all about fog. Um, but yeah, the sun's rising as well to imply a hopeful future. Because it is hopeful. We're getting the good ending. And there's this like ethereal movement. Or, uh, uh, music, rather. <laughs> so, yeah, we've been, we've been through the fucking ringer. We've lost our entire inventory a few times over. We've had to recycle everything in and out. We have had to refill our phone. We also lost our phone. We're having a time, you know? We're, we're in the fucking thick of it. So I remember that that was one of the scariest parts in the game, where you're like, oh, the stairs, I will go up them, and then it gives way to a room full of monsters. I tried to hit the reload button, but I guess it didn't go. There it is. They haven't really hit me once, so I'm not going to need this range, I suppose. Um... See, so this, is, this is where, um difficulty really matters because in the early game you know it's not too hard either way but in the late game they don't give you a whole lot of syringes and you lose the ones that you had so even if you had 10 you lose them all um, but the damage that enemies do and the health that they have is very important because you know you've got your guns and they've got their health you've got your syringes and they've got their damage see I can just see you through the way um, I like that shooting through a guy paints blood on the wall behind him. That's a really good effect. I think that might just be something in Gold Source. But that's fine. Overshot him a little there, literally though. So. Reload your gun. Okay. Thanks for waiting for me, I guess. Haha! <laughs> oh, huh. This is gonna be good, I'm sure. Come on. Oh, come on, Simon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit, oh fuck. I saved, right? Okay, cool. Oh, it's the baton. I've only got so much inventory though, dude.
Can't be doing this to me. How much gun does this gun have? This has eight. This has one. But... I think there's more around here somewhere. Like, sometimes I really feel as though this game was really poorly balanced, specifically in the ammunition department. Just because, like, you don't have enough... Or not ammunition, um, inventory. You really don't have enough in the way of being able to... fucking have it. Like, I would, I would be fine if... I just had a fourth slot in my pocket and one in the back. It would make this all a lot easier. It's just kind of annoying, you know? Also, I was nearly immediately proven wrong since uh, the supposedly document only gun. only shows up in single player, but... Reload. Reload, Simon. God, what? Hold on. It is so dark. What? Okay. I know where I'm going at least. Ostensibly. If I had a lantern here, would it be easier to see underwater? I'm already drowning? Come on, dude. Yeah, one moment, everyone. Hey, I did that thing where I recorded too long, so this episode's like a billion years long. Um, yeah, this is the end of the episode. Sorry. Play the outro. <laughs>